everyone welcome back so it is saturday and i figured i would do a weekend vlog because this weekend is kind of exciting we have an ultrasound today and i'm 30 weeks long so it'll be a fun ultrasound we'll actually get to see some good facial features and things of mr baby valdez and so i'm just leaving the house right now i'm gonna go get my eyebrows waxed because they're like not so great um i also have some good pimples going on just locking up the house oh that's gonna burn my butt I forgot to put my shades up last night before I went inside. Oh, that was stupid. Um, obviously I'm in Phoenix because <laughs> it is not this hot up north. Hold on, I'm just trying to adjust. So yeah, I'm gonna go get my eyebrows waxed and then go to Target and get some press on nails because my nails look like caca. And then I'm going to come back and work on some more planning. This morning I uploaded, I edited and uploaded um, my nursery tour and then a vlog from last week. I vlogged twice. And I just realized that my mother-in-law's Wi-Fi is way faster than my Wi-Fi at home. So I'm going to start uploading my videos when I get here because it took like, 10 not even 10 minutes to upload um, those videos. So, I'm gonna start doing that when I come here. Uh, maybe I can even get some longer vlogs out of that. All right guys, so I'm back. My eyebrows have been waxed. They look much better. This is like a sunspot from back when I used to tan. And I think it just got darker now that I'm pregnant because that happens. Um, but I did go to Target and of course got things that I did not go in for. Okay, so I found a bra. <laughs> so if any kids are watching, just skip ahead. Um, this is a strapless one and it's just one of those cloth ones. And I really needed a strapless bra that's going to fit me right now because obviously I'm a little bigger than normal. Um, and I figured it was good for like a t-shirt. Um, and it has just a little bit of padding, which is good. So this isn't maternity or nursing, um, but it is multi, so you can have the straps or no. Um, I'm just, I really needed that. And then I also grabbed my Impress Press on Nails. I got pink because my toes are still pink. Um, my gel polish kind of peeled off, so I'm just going to put these on for the time being. And then I got some glue because I always put glue on with them. And then I did not need this at all, but I found it and I thought it was really cute. But it's just this shirt. It's long, um, flowy, and it says beautiful. And it has this like cross thing in the front. I don't know. I just really like that. And that's all I got at Target. So I guess I'm going to go back to planning. I, uh was watching Harry Potter while I was planning. I think it's a Harry Potter marathon, um, which if it is, that's great, because I haven't seen them all in a long time. So I'm thinking I might just tag along and watch. I'm planning, um, and I'll show you guys how I do that, kind of just quickly what I'm doing. So I'm on Pinterest, and I believe next week I'm gonna be teaching um, citing text evidence, and I'm using the standards Refer to details and examples in a text when explaining what the text says explicitly and when drawing inferences. And then I'm going to use RL2, which is summarizing the text. Um, I'm not going to do the theme or anything, but I am going to use summarize the text as part of my weekly um, stuff. So I, um, I found this... Uh, it's like a, it's from Teaching with a Mountain View on Teachers Pay Teachers. She has really, really great stuff. I've used her stuff for a long time. 
Um, I love her task cards. They're awesome. So I have these in my in my cart right now or in my wish list, but they're just these understanding key details nonfiction. And then there's also one for informational text. I think I'm just gonna focus on nonfiction. Um, but it's answering who, what, where, when, and why, and how questions. And then it goes into um, answering comprehension questions correctly. So I'm gonna be going into using the race protocol, which if you've never seen it, let me scroll down because I believe it is here on my Pinterest. Yeah, so I used this last year, this race protocol. It's restate the question, oh, answer the question in all its parts, cite evidence from the text, and explain the evidence. And then I also have an anchor chart that has sentence frames for them to answer text-dependent questions. So I think we're going to do that next week and just use lots of different types of text, lots of different types of questions. I'm going to pull questions from our Galileo test. I think I'm going to do that for reading next week. And then I'm also going to be doing opinion writing because the week after that, we have our big um, school district people visit. They're coming to look at our school, a school board visit. And our principal would like us to have a standard base bulletin board outside the room. So I'm going to do an opinion writing one. That way we have something to put up on the board and it's standard based. And then for math, we just have Eureka. So that's already planned out. And then social studies, we're going to start our Arizona regions and such. So yeah, that's what I'm planning. I'm watching Harry Potter. I need to get something to eat. I think Scott bought food but his family's gone for the weekend, so it's just us two here and the fridge is like basically empty. So if I can't find anything, I'm thinking about ordering like a vegetable pizza or something just cause it has vegetables and I don't wanna go back out in the heat again. Mm. Hi guys. So I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna start getting ready to go. We're going to our ultrasound at 6.30 and then we're gonna go to dinner afterwards. I did put my nails on. They look so good and so pretty and they're like the perfect pink. They match my toes, which are also pink. It's crazy, my nail polish lasts way less than my toenail polish. I think it's because I use my hands so much for a lot of stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready. I'm not doing a whole lot just cause it's hot outside and I didn't bring hair extensions or anything. My hair is getting pretty long. Um, I am wearing my new shirt though, which is super cute and my new bra, so comfy. And just a pair of jeans. Uh, these are maternity jeans from um, Old Navy. And I really, really actually wait, are these from Old Navy? No, these are from Target. But I like these because they have the elastic side panels and not the whole belly thing because that thing like makes me itch i don't know what it is about it but it makes me itch terribly so i don't wear those all right guys so the loud part of me getting ready is done so i figured maybe i would just do a little chit chat with you guys um, I've had a lot of people ask me about doing some pregnancy update stuff, so I figured I would just kind of chit chat with you guys about it while I'm getting ready. So I'm going to do that. I'm trying to find my hair clip. I usually have like a little clippy clip, like a claw clip that I use to put my hair up while I'm getting ready. Um, I'm going to start my makeup routine with my MAC Prep and Prime spray. And I find that when I'm here in the valley where it's like really hot, when I use this spray, my makeup doesn't smudge as fast or move. Uh, so I put it on before my makeup and then it really stays on. And then I just use the professional on my nose and my chin because those are my high, my bigger poured areas. So I'm just gonna put that on there. So pregnancy updates. Okay, so I'm 30 weeks right now. I will be 31 weeks on Wednesday. Wednesday is my turn is my turnover day or my change day, I guess is what we call it. Uh, but Wednesday will be 31 weeks, which means I only have nine more weeks to go. And it's really, really exciting. It's also really terrifying. I mean, 
Scott and I have gone to some uh, parenting classes and you know we've learned a lot about childbirth, we've learned a lot about infant care, we've learned a lot about what's going to happen in the delivery room, things like that. So we feel like we're prepared for it. And when I say prepared, I mean like we know what's coming, but you can never really prepare yourself for childbirth. I mean, I know it's going to be painful, and I know that it's going to be hard, but nothing can really prepare you for it. You can't compare it to anything if you've never been through it before. So I'm just trying to keep my mind off of that. I know like we have our birth plan and everything, but I'm just trying to just avoid the topic altogether just because thinking about it is only going to cause me anxiety and I need to be as least stressed as possible. So, uh, we'll talk about some symptoms and just how I've been feeling. I don't, I still don't really have very many symptoms. As you guys know, in my first trimester video, I told you that I didn't really have any symptoms at all. I still don't. Um, one thing that I noticed is that my immune system is really, really low. So the only real effects that I've gotten from pregnancy has been a low uh, immune system, meaning I just get sick a lot easier. So um, during the summer, I didn't get sick, obviously, because I wasn't around kids. And then as soon as we got back into school, like the third weekend, I caught a cold. You guys know that. And um, it did go away a lot faster this time, but that's because I took... Um, I took zinc lozenges and I took vitamin C gummies, just by nature's made, uh, just to try to fight the cold instead of treat the cold or make the symptoms go away momentarily. Um, which And it worked because it did go away within a few days, um, about a week, which should it shouldn't take that long to go away my mom actually caught it before me and because i'm staying with them i caught it from her it was probably a mixture of her and the kids but mostly probably from her and she had it gone in like two days so i'm like okay well if you can get rid of it in two days and hopefully mine will go away within a week and it did so that's really the only thing that has really been affected I've only gained 13 pounds, uh, and so I only have 10 weeks left. So in 30 weeks, gaining 13 pounds is pretty good. Uh, my doctor was like, go get a milkshake. And I'm like, um, no, <laughs> I want one, but I don't want to gain a bunch of weight, you know. I, I eat healthy, and I eat what I want. I don't, like, skip out on things, you know. So I'm doing a good job, I feel. Uh, I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have any signs of toxemia um, approaching. Sorry, I'm saying I'm a lot. I say I'm a lot. It's just one of those words. It's my, it's my nervous habit word. Even though I'm not nervous, I'm just talking to you, a camera. <coughs> but it's just my word. Everyone has a word that they say. So, uh, what else? I don't know. I'm really excited to meet him. I'm excited to tell you guys his name. We haven't said his name yet because we were trying to come up with a really cute way to announce it. And we wanted to do it at a Diamondbacks game. But unfortunately, they haven't really been in town when I've been in town. So we're probably not going to do that. And we might come up with just another way. Um, I wanted to do some sort of like baseball thing. Just because my husband really likes baseball, like, that's his thing. And, um, you know, I just would really like to do something cute. And we just haven't had an opportunity to do that yet. So, uh, by the way, I didn't mention it, but the foundation that I'm using today is the Born This Way by Too Faced. And then the uh, concealer is the tape, tape sh Shape Tape Concealer by um, Tarte. This foundation is slightly dark for me right now, but I'm trying to live it through this, uh, the spring until it's gone, or the spring, the fall until it's gone, because I don't like buying makeup when I have plenty of makeup. It just doesn't make sense to me, so, um, 
it doesn't look like it matches. Plus, I've always got this red, like, orangey hue to my skin because I have rosacea. So, I could never really find a makeup to match my skin because my skin is red and nobody wears red makeup. So, I'm just setting this with my Too Faced setting powder. Usually, I use the Laura Mercier one, but when I'm on vacation, well, not on vacation, but when I'm not home, I don't like to carry a bunch of stuff with me. So I just carry this one powder and I just use it everywhere because I'm not going to carry a bunch of stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm just setting that under eye area. I'm trying to think of what else is new. Oh, so our house is in escrow. Um, the buyers decided not to do a... Well, this is 15 minutes already. This is going to be a long one. Uh, the buyers decided not to do a home inspection so to me that just means like they really want this house they don't they don't even care like if there's anything wrong with it which there isn't because we take very good care of our home and um if there was anything wrong with it we would have disclosed that so they're very trusting i think i think they're in a rush they're probably renting and they need to get out of the rental and you know whatever situation they're in we're totally we get it you know there's no reason for us to be in the house anymore because we're staying with my mom um the reason we were staying with her before moving out is just due to the fact that we didn't want to have to clean up you know for showing and stuff and now that all of our things are there it's just like it's pointless to like move back in and move out and move back in so we are staying with my parents as of now until the new house is built, which probably won't be until, I want to say March, between March, April, May. Um, so that's going to take a while, but it's okay because we're good. I'm just kind of going over some of my s spots with my Bare Minerals powder because... I do have a zit right here, and this stuff is like magic. <laughs> it like covers everything that your foundation and concealer won't cover. So like I said, I'm doing very minimal makeup today. I just, I'm not in the mood. I'm gonna use my Swamp Queen palette, because that's the one I packed. And the reason I packed it is because it does have a blush and a bronzer in it. <sighs> Only thing is though, the bronzer is really pigmented. So I have to be really careful and really light handed. Otherwise I'll look like a drag queen. So just whirling that around on there. There's a good chance I'm going to speed up through all of this chitter chatter, but I don't know. It's fine. Uh, what else? Pregnancy. I don't know. I can't really tell you much because I don't really have any, like I feel like when people want to know about pregnancy, they want to know like <laughs> all the negative stuff you're going through so that they can <laughs> prepare for it. I don't know. Is that just me thinking that way? I don't know. I've always, I mean, I've enjoyed being pregnant, let me just say that. Obviously, I haven't had any, like, struggles, you know, so why wouldn't I enjoy it? My friend, my very, very best friend, Ruby, actually had her baby yesterday, which is really exciting, and, uh, they're getting, I think they're probably home by now, but uh, everything went well. She had a naturally with an epidural, obviously. When we say naturally, it means not a C-section. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that I can have him naturally, meaning not a C-section, but I am going to have medication. Let me just tell you that because I am not, I mean, I'm okay with pain, but not really. <laughs> So I'm just planning ahead now, saying yes, I will take an epidural, yes, I will take laughing gas. <laughs> Go ahead, sign me up, have the, uh, have the anesthesiologist there on call, 
because uh, I will be first in line. And, uh, yeah. Still don't really know what to talk about, guys. I want to see. I'll probably make a separate video for the ultrasound, actually. Only because when I go back in the future to look at these, I want to be able to see, like, 30-week ultrasound on the title and not vlog. <laughs> I'm not going to know what I'm looking for. I'm going to just do this, like, brownie red color in my crease. Like, I care about what I look like, even though I don't. <laughs> Clearly, half the time when I'm vlogging with you guys, I look like a wreck. But that's okay, because I, re I really, really don't care. I'll go to school without makeup on, with a bun in my hair, every day, and I do not care. <laughs> the first time I did it this school year, I had a kid go, what happened to your face? And I went, I'm not wearing makeup today. They went, oh. <laughs> I used the Roller Lash by Benefit and I accidentally got the brown one the last time. I'm just rolling with it because I don't feel like going and getting another black one. Uh, see, the brown doesn't look bad at all. I'm getting my hair done on Tuesday. That's exciting. I'm getting my uh, blonde pulled up. So this is my natural hair color and um, it's not super dark. It's not, it's like a dirty blonde. Um, oh, did I just get, I sure did. I just got mascara up on my top latches. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a mess here, y'all. I'm in a mess. Um, I like to be blonde, like a lighter blonde. That's my preference, but I also don't like having like the blonde with like the roots, like cup, you know what I mean? I don't like that. I would rather have it like this where it's just like, obviously I'm not this blonde, <laughs> but like it blends really well. So I'm just gonna blow dry my hair again. So when I get my hair done, she's just gonna pull the blonde up more and put more in the front. So that when I take my maternity pictures in two weeks, my hair looks better than normal. <laughs> um, I also just washed my hair, but I'm going to use dry shampoo because my hair, like I said, is so thin and fine that it just does not do anything. Unless I give it smelly, good smelling stuff. It's just like... It will be too soft, it won't do anything. Plus it kind of lightens the top of my hers. I'm gonna use some lip scents. I don't know which color yet. Let's see, maybe I'll use Praline Rose. I'm gonna use Praline Rose. I'm gonna do Praline Rose today. It's like a mauve nude. If you don't know how to use lip scents, you probably should find somebody that's really good at it, cause I'm not. Um, but basically you put on three coats and you have to do it in the same direction. And I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't see what I'm doing. I'll show you. Oh, my camera's at 4% and this is 26 minutes long. We're just gonna keep going till it dies. And then you let it dry, and then you do two more coats, and then it's done. So I'm gonna unplug this. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't put your lips together. I'm gonna plug my camera in, and then I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, okay, so I did end up finishing my lipstick. Um, Scott just got home, he's jumping in the shower, and then we are going to head off to our ultrasound. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're not late. So I'm gonna end this vlog now, and um, we will, I will make a, a, an ultrasound video, um, totally separate, so, okay, see you guys then.